That is one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. Very good sized albino seeker. And it's a level 4, so what do I have in my thing? I've got the 30-30 and the 45-70. Um, what should we take her with? I think, to be honest, the 30-30 would be cooler than the 45-70 since it's a little bit weaker. So I think that's what we're going to do. But we're definitely getting into within 100 meters, maybe even 50, to assure that we're actually gonna get penetration to get vitals on this thing. Because I want the proper actual rating, and I want that gold on it. So, we'll go sneak up on this dude, and I guess I'll come back when we have a little bit of a better angle. I hope it doesn't go around this bend. Because it's kind of looking like it wants to. Just like those. But I really hope it doesn't go all the way over there. Because if it stops around here, I think we would have a pretty good shot at it. But yeah, I think it is moving down there. Kind of unfortunate. Maybe if we alert it. I'm not sure if we actually have the grunt caller on us. Um, we actually do, that's the only one we have. That is good. And I'm pretty sure this attracts seekers, so... This could be really good. Yup. They are coming this way. That is really cool. You know what? I might even go grab the Riku for this dude. Do I try? You know what? Yeah, why not? I'll just go grab it and see if we can get the dude. But if not, we'll go take him down with a gun. That is still really cool though. A level 4 Albino Seeker and Albino Seeker are actually really rare, so... I'm really happy to find him. Go take out the 4570. Go grab the recurve. We should already have the 540s in there. Right. Yep. Okay. So we'll go mark where he is. And I'm going to say he's actually going to be going to this zone here. Or he might be going to his own back here, so the wind is pretty good, so I should be able to get a decent shot on him, and he shouldn't spook. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. Go get this dude with a Riku. For some reason, he's back there again. So I think we can go cut him off, if we're lucky. And our wind is perfect at the moment, so I think it's definitely doable. So... Since he's back there, I think I know where he's going to go. I'm not sure why he got sent back there. But, yeah, this should actually be quite good. And where is he? There he is. Why is he just standing still? Do we still have connection? Yes, we do. Okay. Why aren't you moving? I guess we can go call him in. I think... I think, actually no, that guy's moving now, and he is moving, okay. Good. What? What are you guys saw? Um, I think actually if we just go in this bush here, we should have some cover, yep. And if we just start calling, that albino should come just straight in. And let's see if he turns. It looks like the other ones are next to him. So that should mean... Is he not? I thought this one was. Um... Let's see. Come on. Start coming in. Is anyone near us? Nah, no, we're good. So we have all the time in the world now. 
We have quite a lot of their drink time left. So we shouldn't need to rush anything. Come on. Why are you still walking? He doesn't seem like he's affected at all. That is just so cool though. That, as soon as it's in the lodge, that'll be one of my favourite trophies. Hopefully we don't mess it up. That would really suck. Because he... I think he's actually guaranteed gold. With that estimate. I think something like 136 is gold. And he has a minimum of... 148 and he doesn't have the biggest frame in the world but he's got some nice tines there and I think what we're gonna do is need to wait till he actually goes in the zone and stalk up then because for some reason he's just not affected by this core I'm not sure if he's like nervous or something and multiplayer is just missing it up actually he might be coming in now. He turned around and the other ones are coming towards us now, so I think that's the case. Oh yes, I go. I kind of want to get back there somewhere. So we have a better view of him and I don't want him in the water. So we can get some pictures. So if we just slide over to this bush here. Well calling. We should have a pretty good spot here to go take him out. And I would preferably go for a 20 meter shot, so hopefully he comes all the way into there. But yeah, that is really cool. So if we just get in here, this should give us full cover. If I am right. These are the bushes that give you full cover. Yep. Oh, and there he is right there. We don't have the best spot in the world um right there I think that's a bush that also covers us so we'll go back a little bit more but I'm not sure if the albino is actually gonna come straight in because I think it really wants to get into its zone but let's just crouch up in here oh no it's coming straight in okay Come on, if I get him into 25-ish meters again, I'll take him. Oh, okay, this might be our opportunity. Okay. 25, 24, okay. I really think this is going to be our opportunity. I want him broadside. Stop. And he's hit. Not good. What? That was perfect. What are you talking about? No, I think we just messed up an albino seeker. Come on, stop going in such a weird direction. Oh my god, why are you going directly that way? I just took a random shot. I would say we still messed him up. Oh, why did the arrow go that way? What? Oh my god. Seriously. We just messed up that dude as well. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. He left no tracks. And unless that last shot saved him I think wait what what's wrong with that shot is that too far forward I thought I purposely aimed too far oh, a bit far back oh what did we do there are you kidding me what? 
two shots barely miss a lung. It's ridiculous. What's that? Still gonna mount him. But that's so sad. Well, yeah. Here's our old Albana Seeker. It was a 105.2, pretty small silver, I believe it was a small level 3, and we got it not long after New Zealand released. But here we have our new one. It is a silver, would have been a gold, but we unfortunately messed it up. And I'm actually quite sad about that because it would have been really cool to get that gold actual rating on a rare because I don't have many gold rares around the lodge and I really like it when I do get them in the main lodge. But it happens sometimes. I should have just took it with the gun since it was on multiplayer but you know me, I had to try to get it with the recurve and sadly I pulled just a little bit too far forward and just hit the shoulder blade. But it happens sometimes. But yeah, I think that'll do it for today's video, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.